I don't know why. Wake up, Jeff. Hi. Okay. Yeah, I'm on. I'm on. That's fine. Yes, you are. <laughs> so we're talking about haircuts and DVD players? Yeah, and iPhones. Oh, I don't have one of those. Okay. Well, you can't no, help me. Too. Too bad, okay. No. It's a, piece, it's a piece of worthless shit. So don't okay. get one. Okay. <laughs> That is amazing. I uh, about DVD players. I've got, I think, four region free DVD players that my wife had under the oh. bed. My my wife had all these like region two and region three and region four DVDs, and mm. uh, I got rid of a lot of them. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, no, I've I've just got another uh, Blu-ray player. Yeah, oh, oh, good. Mm -hmm. I've got, matter of fact, my one, my Blu-ray player, I have a couple of Region 2 DVDs. I kept my Black Adder set. If you know the Black Adder show, it's a Region 2, and it works on my Blu-ray player fine. So, who knows? It even plays USBs. That's crazy. I know. I didn't know it did that. Mm -hmm. And, well, my TV plays USBs, but you have to get in behind. And, oh, put it in. Yeah. But this thing's got the, uh, the the port right in front, so I just take this and just in the front of the player, voila. Yeah. So that's, that's kind of neat. I kind of like that idea. Yeah, I got myself. My son got me a new Blu-ray player yeah, not I, too long ago, and he got he gave me his old TV because he got like an eight-foot, you know, TV in his apartment. So, eight-foot TV. Yeah. yeah it's like. <laughs> You know, and he watches those 4T, what are they, 4K movies? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, <laughs> geez, you know. Gosh. See, even YouTube has been glitchy at times. Yes. Says Doc began, oh, since Doc? Maybe even since. Well, I'm, I'm just glitchy, period. No, mine oh, does yeah. that, too. Mine does mm -hmm. that, too. Like, mine will come on. And say, Doc's been streaming for 34 minutes. And an hour later, it still says you've been streaming for 34 minutes. Oh, yeah, My yeah, time never too. updates on that. Yeah. That, that I, that, well, I usually get a, a, a notation that you're on, and I got nothing. I was sitting here flipping around, you know, and, oh, Doc's on. So, yeah. No. You didn't have your bell clicked, did you? I thought I clicked my bell. I, I'll be. Click the bell. From oh, now on, I'll, I'll watch my bell. I'll be sure to click that bell. Don't forget to subscribe and all that kind of. Yeah, all that stuff. So how long? How long should I leave this thing unplugged after it goes dead? All night. At least an hour. Yeah, at least an hour all night probably would be better, but at mm -hmm. least an hour. Put it under your pillow. Because, <laughs> like I said, capacitors and things hold Ooh. power. For quite a long time, so you mm -hmm. want all the power to drain after yeah. your battery dies. Well, my internet keeps going off. <laughs> I wouldn't like that. No. Nope. I'll boot out my Sony. My Sony <laughs> 400 disc player, but my equipment is so heavy I can't plug it into the amplifier. That's like having a jukebox, isn't it? Yeah. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Gee. Wow. Hello, gentlemen, and Mason. Hey, Robert. <laughs> hey, Robert. Uh, What's up, Robert? Us. Put, put them on eBay, Jeff. Yeah, it's possible. I also have a Japanese region free player that is like four years old. Because so, yeah. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. my wife had, my wife had all these DVDs. I mean, all this Japanese stuff called uh, novel Japanese. Power Rangers and all these, uh, yeah, seriously, and all these, uh, you know, those, those those really bad Japanese cartoons. Yeah, yeah, there's, yeah. Actually, there's some Japanese game shows that are pretty funny. Yeah, I can't, I can't uh, make a lot, but I mean, you can tell enough that you know, you know what's going on. Oh well, yeah, those are the ones where they have the contestant and they hit him on the head mm -hmm. with a hammer until they get the right yeah. answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there was a, a Japanese pop group who uh, broke up a couple of years ago, and they had a variety show, and that's and the three of the members of the group were American. So, 
So it's yeah, you, it, it, you know, and so it but also it helps. My wife used to know Japanese, you know, when she was alive, she taught herself to be oh, no, saying this. yeah. So there we go. Fabulous! Wow. Yes. Hmm. And you get some real mean Godzilla movies on there too. Oh yeah, Japanese Godzilla stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I had what, a long time back in the mid '90s. Sometime my wife went to Japan when I was still married, and she brought me home the original version, the Japanese version of Godzilla, which was not available in the United States at that Whoa. point. And oh, I yeah. was so happy, but of course. I couldn't play it because I didn't have a DVD player that would support the format. <laughs> mm -hmm. You see, my wife started buying up those region free players because one of them might break. We need another one. One of them might break. You know, that sounds like, like mayo. Mm -hmm. That sounds like mayo. <laughs> he, he, he bought a couple extra for just Yeah, us. he did. He bought a couple yeah. extra. Mm -hmm. I found one. I, I have one now. I found one in a thrift store for like eight bucks not too long ago. I brought it home with me. I'm like, it's region free. I'm buying this. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I have them. I have a couple of. I think I have a couple of Doctor Who DVDs that are region region two. But other than that, I got rid of all that stuff. You know, yeah. my wife passed away, so I have a well, few British uh, what, region what, two things. But I've never hooked what, it up. This is some off-brand, and it's old. What, well, it's what's really the region, cheap then? What's, like, if I were to go to Walmart and buy a DVD just here, what region would that be under? One. Region one or mm -hmm. unlocked. Yeah. One or the other. Region we three. Are region one. One. North America is region one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Europe is region two. Yeah, and I Japan, think Japan is like region Q. Yeah, uh, Australia is region four because my wife got a bunch of Australian DVDs. Don't ask me why, but she got them. So, and so like Polish DVDs and some German DVDs. And I thought, so like, if I tried to play a region four DVD in a region one player, it wouldn't work. No, no, no. Probably not. There are companies in Australia right now that are making Blu-rays that tell yeah. you that they're locked, but they're not, and they'll play on your player. But mm -hmm. that's only recently, and that's Blu-ray, which is a completely different ball game. Yeah, yeah. The only thing that'll play is on my re uh, is that, of course, that black outer set. So. Yeah, two percent. <laughs> I need to get it to one percent, and then I need to get it from that to zero so that I can get this thing dead. You get a threat. <laughs> mm -hmm. like, like show it. Yeah, yeah. Box. You know, it, it works for me. Well, when the toaster wouldn't work, I said, "You bastard! You work, or else you're going on the garbage." Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> sometimes all it needs is a good threatening, and the thing, it's it's like when you have a TV that God bastard work. Oh, all you right? motherfucking <laughs> piece of shit. Exactly. <laughs> it, it works sometimes. You got to threaten it. Uh, <laughs> Robert, is, we are late. We, we've been down that road, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> we've we been down the room from paper clips to. I can't remove the battery because these little. Uh oh. They're smaller my than my screwdrivers will will work with. <laughs> Well, <laughs> oh, now, now, now we've lost the picture. It's that one percent battery, so all I gotta do is wait. All I gotta do is okay. wait now. Surely, when it goes dead, the screen will go off. It won't just stay on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Theoretically, yeah. Jeff, you look like an alien tonight. Okay, here I got have my TV. I'm lo looking at you guys while I'm talking. See, so can see I can turn it around. You see what, what, what I'm watching? Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look yeah. at that. Mm -hmm. Wow. So, you're well, watching no, us. Talk about having yourself on Mom, mom, I've been on television. Yeah. And imagine my <laughs> friend's TV is like, you know. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? We're on television. On All TV. Right. I'm, I'm going audio for a bit here. 
you've been on audio for the last two minutes. <laughs> not only is your phone not working, neither is your camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Oh, man. I know. <laughs> come on, Jim. Come on. Just... <laughs> You you have to play 3D. Like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh yeah. we're, we're showing our partridge shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah partridge partridge shit. Shit. And shit. Yeah, is yeah you need to describe them. You need to get a um, partridge family icon for your for your thing. Get rid of those Beach Boys and put some partridge. Yeah, them. yeah. Uh, <laughs> they'll never amount to anything. <laughs> <laughs> just see, even we have influenced even Jorgen to buy some partridge family. Oh yeah, Jorgen got one. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that that, that oh, breaks my so heart in a way. <laughs> Look. This is doing the uh Max Headroom trick. Oh, okay. Look, 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 I've got bricks behind me. Look, look, look. <laughs> Oh, now he's just a disembodied head. Up oh, now no, he's exactly. gone. <laughs> no. Yeah, Mason is bricks in the wall. Yeah, all oh, we are just bricks. Just in bricks the wall. in the wall. Yeah. yeah. All in all, you're another brick in the Man, wall. And sneeze. Uh, backgrounds look really oh, good. Look at this. Look at this yeah. one. Oh, oh hey, now check this out. Ooh. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Can't afford that house. Sorry. Ah. Stop it. Stop it. I like the middle period myself. Yeah, we, do. No, no, we don't need any of that. Okay. We we talk about Partridge family. Okay. Or or maybe even Gene Pitney. Okay. No. Mason, can you talk about Gene Pitney? He's not here anymore. He's gone. No, he's here. Oh, is he? I, he's I, not on the screen. I, I I put him backstage. Oh, okay. <laughs> so he's not, yeah. Um, because if he's gonna look like, oh, here we go. He's back. He's back. Let's see. Let's have fun. I'm with reading this. your comments and you're annoying. Bye. <laughs> I found a. I looky here. I found a familiar fellow. What? What? Who? What? Oh, him, <laughs> Peter. Oh, ooh, him. Yeah. Calvin says, uh, I prefer seeing Don. Oh, okay. As compared to where? Well, the, well, Gidget is right next to the Partridge family on this DVD sampler. See? Oh, 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 yeah. Don Porter was Gidget's yeah. dad. Oh, no, Doc. 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 What? What? <laughs> we'll talk about bad Disney costumes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's creepy. Yeah, that would, that'd be frightening. That would be creepy. That's this creepy. Photo? Like even the adults are creeped out. Like, what's the? Yeah, little boys are cry. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the one little girl's having a great time. Yeah, it looks yeah. like that Mitch Miller guy used to scare me. <laughs> Oh like, no! Isn't what's that going uh, on your freaking mouth? Yeah. I don't know what Walt Disney's doing to that little boy, but he'd be in jail for that now. <laughs> oh yeah, that would yeah, that would be racist for him to. Oh, oh, oh yeah, the, the little boy there is right ready, ready to run. Yeah. Oh my gosh! What's that big mini mouse thing? Yikes! Yeah, bending out, gonna fall over and hit the little girl right right by her face. Yeah. They, yeah. They, They've come a long way since the 1940s. I think they're doing pretty good now with the yeah. character mm -hmm. heads. Even, even I'm confused. How do they see out of that? That's not your dad. Gene that's Simmons. Walt Disney, Robert. I give you Gene Simmons. Now that's frightening. Yeah. yeah okay. No, actually, I don't think that is Walt. No, no that was like Walt Disney. Else. And that was Walt sure? Disney. No, I, I don't think it was. I don't think I it give was. You, I now give you. A zombie. It looks ah! like it. Oh God! No, Take, it no, Take it away! <laughs> Take it away! Take it away! The wall is better. <laughs> yeah. Yes. 
Yeah. All in all, you're another brick in the wall. Hmm. You know what? Many years ago, one of the uh, shopping malls here had a <coughs> contest for the kids for best costume for Halloween. Mm -hmm. And I happened to have been there the day it, you know, they were bringing all the kids. Well, we had a kiss tribute act here in town at the time. And wow, the guy who did Gene Simmons yeah. showed up at the mall and entered oh, the really? So everybody thought he was a real Gene Simmons? Well, well, no. It was like the idea, you know, here's here's little girls dressed up as fairies and boys dressed up as mutant turtles, whatever. And here comes this guy in his Gene Simmons suit, which, of course, was darn good. Mm -hmm. I wonder who won. Um, I wonder who made the little kids cry like, hey, I've spent all yeah. this with my little wings and all this time, and here's this guy walks up like Gene mm -hmm. Simmons, takes all the prizes. So, thank you. This is the guy I was thinking about. Yeah, Jerry, okay. Jerry, okay, he cool. was a comedian in the 40s. Yeah, and 40s yeah. And yeah I know who he is. I'm pretty sure that was Walt Disney. Yeah. No, it was Gary Colonna. Yeah, okay. But put, put that picture back up, Mason. If Which you can, one? That, that Disney picture. Yeah, the the, the oh, I'm already picture. looking for more creepy Disney pictures. <laughs> yeah, well, throw, throw up that one again. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that is that's, okay. That's, that's Jerry Colonna. I, I, I love like, Disney. Yeah. His mustache was is, is black. Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I I couldn't think of his name, Jerry Colonna. Yeah. Thank you. It Thank looks you. like it takes place in the 40s. Uh, the, the oh, yeah, that would be a, well, See, those costumes, they're, I think they use they for are. Like, the you know those are. They're the costumes. They're the costumes that Disney used from the ice capades. And yes. this, it was in. So this photo was definitely 1950 or onward. Okay. I, I would say probably mid to late 40s. No, mm -hmm. no, not forties. Nineteen fifty was what was was sure. when Disney acquired the costumes. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh, he acquired them. Like, yeah, the ice capades used them first, and then he, you know, bought them or took them. Or... There's mm -hmm. look at the face on Mickey there. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a doesn't look well, like Mickey. The, well, they got those slits in the head so the people can see out, and it just looks like. Somebody took a razor blade and just slashed the hell out of their face. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to find one that's worse. Uh, I think actually that. No. Oh, no, no, no. There is one on here that's worse. There is one on here that's worse. <clears throat> Same guy. She's mm. much younger oh. here, but it's mm -hmm. the same guy. <laughs> yeah, but it's yeah, cold. but uh, Walt had a pencil mustache. Kalona did not. I don't know. It, it, it was a little bit thicker later. That's yeah. him. I'm okay. sure of it. Okay. But but see, Disney had two daughters, not a boy. Well, that's those are probably they're, not I'm his sure kids. They're not his kids. They're somebody's that's kids. Him. They're just part kids. They're doing a photo that's op. Him. Yes, that's called a photo op, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Let's talk about Don Porter. He was in a bunch of stuff. He was he in that movie where Robert Redford was running for president, the candidate. Sounds good. And he, and he was, was guys a lot. one of my favorite TV movies of the 70s, a movie called The Norless Tapes, about uh, the guy who was in The Invaders. He's investigating a guy. Oh, Roy Finnis or something? Yeah, Roy Finnis and Andrew Look, here. In it Look and, at this. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Those, those are pretty hideous. That, ah. is, like, just, that is creepy. That's Staring probably... <laughs> it's probably before they opened up Disneyland, I'm sure. No, no, this this was at the, the, this was uh, at Disneyland. Yeah, that Disneyland. looks like oh. at Disneyland. The, okay, it doesn't look like Mickey uh, Mickey Mouse this, at all. That, it looks was, that that right there was the first Mickey Mouse costume used in a theme park, and it was okay. adapted from the Ice Capades. Now, that this 
scared the shit out of children because look, he has no freaking <laughs> mouth. Yeah. So they then took this costume, tweaked it a bit, and turned it into that. Yeah. I, I, I think it's backwards. I think that came first. Before that came after. second. Before after. I can't. <laughs> oh, now what's the channel name? I think it's called Disney Dan. Yeah, yeah. And he 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 does like from day one to day now of costumes at Disney. And I've watched it before. I'm, I would think that's before the other one. Mm -hmm. Like get rid of the slits, you know. But they're still. I I know I know. <laughs> Mason, you're scary, Craig man. Yeah. <laughs> You said Disney Dan. I thought you were going to say Disney Plus. So no, 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 no. Okay. no there's a, the channel guy out there called Disney Dan. Oh, okay. okay. And, and I have watched him. In fact, I I caught that Disney Dan in a mistake once. Oh yeah. Now, what was it? Uh, some something about <coughs> Dumbo. Okay. So some something about the. Uh, okay, has anybody seen Dumbo? Probably a, uh, not in years. Oh my God. Yeah. Maybe okay. when I was like eight. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, during Dumbo, mm -hmm. uh, they, they have a sequence where it's pink elephants on parade. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, pink elephants on parade. You know, and they're all yeah. like mm -hmm. freaky and psychedelic and what. No, but, but. Well, anyway, this Disney Dan referencing the pink elephants on parade did not know what movie that came from <laughs> like you're freaking disney dan how could you not know that's from dumbo mm -hmm. so even i typed in hey dumbo and <laughs> i went back like dumbo 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 <laughs> like dumbo it was from dumbo you know? yeah yeah like mike son had a whole uh, almost a complete collection of those. Pluto's original design. <laughs> oh dear, that's frightening. Whoa! Here, let, Back into the let, me, let me scale up a bit. Let me scale okay. up a bit. Yeah, I, I, I think that's an early Pluto. What? Why mm -hmm. the hell they got uh, skates for a tail? Ooh, freaky. Ooh. Okay. I, that's in case he falls on his ass. He can just. You can yeah skate on his butt. I guess. Eat on his butt. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Weird. You know, they, they also have the, the walk around Mickey where it's all head. They just put on a head and then. then yeah. <laughs> like like there's, there's no art. All well, the arms are just loose. Mm -hmm. so it's all head. That's, that's pretty scary, too. All the guy can do is like move the nose a little bit. You know, whatever. Yeah. The, the ones they got now, they blink. And everything mm -hmm. the mobile even move wow well, i think it's a suit now isn't it a whole suit it's not just the head there we go there's a oh, oh somebody laying on top of pluto oh so basically okay. like donald is sitting on top of pluto <laughs> pluto must have been huge it's like a great day oh, so that person is right there so they're on their head and the other person is standing right there. See, so yeah, well, it's like a two. It's a two-man Pluto. Yeah, yeah. Wall, <laughs> wall. <laughs> I Welcome to Disney I'll Education. Your kids. Wall. <laughs> Actually, you know, what, right. you know what, Doc? We should we we should watch a Disney Dan. Should we? It would be pretty interesting. Well, we're yeah, I'd, I'd be taken off without within seconds. Yeah, probably. That's, oh, cool. They don't take you off for playing another YouTube video. They do it for music and movies. They're, they they remove you. They can take yeah. you off for anything if they yeah. want to. Yeah. I the, I watch a silent movie stream every Sunday, and they got taken off one night for showing a film 
they had a they had permission to show it. <laughs> they always <laughs> ask for even though they're public domain films, they always ask for permission from whoever put it out last, and they had permission and everything, and they were taken down anyway. And they're like, these things happen, you know. There's nothing we can do about it. Well, the one night I don't know must have been like two years ago or whenever this uh, live stream stuff started, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, that uh, I was sitting here, nobody was coming on, nobody was on, and I'm just sitting there. To, I says, "Oh, I'll just put Justice League on the television." Mm -hmm. You know, and well, nobody's here. I just watched the Justice League, and I had the sound turned low, even. And I, I would look back at the screen. All of a sudden, my screen was gone. I'm going, like, "What the heck?" And then I got a notice saying that Warner Brothers has detected that I was broadcasting justice league it took me off yeah and it was copyrighted mm -hmm. <laughs> this, this is, i'm not even showing the picture i've just got the sound barely low and i'm just sitting here watching it and also cut well uh, i i think so i think so i kind of agree that's oh, michael that jackson's wall Oh, is it? I didn't know he had. I didn't know he had a wall. Yes. Okay. Yes. Michael Jackson's wall. Does that? Does he butt his head against the wall? He stands at it like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Me, me and my wall. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. This this will kill a Thursday night, won't it? What time is it? Oh, going on ten o'clock. Hey. Maybe this does work for kill on a Thursday night. Wow. Yes. Yeah, nothing going on. Nothing going on. What? No. What? What would be on television right now for uh, that I would watch, if anything? Yeah. He, exactly. He was off the wall. Yeah. Oh, Sarah, you're leaving us. Oh no. Good night, Sarah. Good night, Sarah. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Well, hello there. Yeah, uh, I got scared for a minute. Yeah, <laughs> that's I know the I scariest that. one yet, Mason. Mm. <laughs> I, I thought it was one of those poor Mickey Mouse costumes. I went, oh no! <laughs> oh jeez! Oh. Look at all the movies behind him, though. Wow. Yeah. Now, yeah. I bet he's now. That's his video collect, his DVD collection. He's war. He's he's got another room full of them. And, yeah. No, uh, you know where I actually think that is. I think that's Spin Me Round Records. Oh, yeah. That one. Where he went to yeah. Spin Me Round Records? Yeah, that one I think girl. That's that... Spin Me Round Records. Mm -hmm. I think you're right. I think you're mm -hmm. right. And yeah, if I'm is... right, then I know way too much about Joe. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I, th I think you are right. No. He was the first person I started watching him. I started watching him years ago. So Everybody mm -hmm. did. He was yeah. everybody's first vine. Yeah. He's a. He's 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 the marijuana of the vinyl community. He's the entry drug. <laughs> no, oh, okay. Have Have you seen the latest by Invisible Ray? No, I do not. Watch. <laughs> I do not watch don't, Invisible Ray. I don't watch his. You know. No, no. The, the the latest by by Invisible Ray is that he found one of those Joe Mayo lookalikes. Mm-hmm. And dubbed Joe's voice onto him. Oh, <laughs> just kind of, yeah, exactly. I don't watch Ray a whole lot. I don't watch that. Uh, what is his name? Brother Brian. I yeah. got on his for about a minute and I got off. And I don't know, watch so. the troublemakers. No, I watch people that talk about music. Yeah, that's about it. As far as yeah. I watch other kinds of videos too, but as far as the vinyl community i watch videos of people talking about music and that's yeah. it yeah even if you're talking about yoko ono yeah, yeah. music and old movies and yeah. uh, yeah. matter of fact there's a site a youtube site i listen to that oops there you go <laughs> Here. this is on top so i gotta show this <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> everybody get your Walt Disney book. Yeah, everybody get your Walt Disney book. Yeah. 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 Walt Disney book. <laughs> no, what I was saying, I found that. Oh, what oh, I was saying. Man. 
Yeah. Yeah, you, you gotta you gotta center those pictures better. Yeah, I mean you cut his head off. Yeah, well yeah, cut his head yeah. off. Yeah. No, that's yeah. Richard. That's Richard. Yeah, yeah, that's Richard. Richard. yeah. But but you cut his head off and he's eating, he's eating the microphone. Oh well remember he is a musician. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Okay. And, and he's got a new uh a YouTube channel for his band called Tunnel Vision. Okay. So everybody run and look up Tunnel Vision and subscribe and like and yeah. ring that bell and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so uh, so what does he do? What is he, does he sing? <laughs> he, he sings. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, so right. Tunnel Vision is good as the Shags? <laughs> so tunnel Vision is the band name, I guess. I know. But his Tunnel Vision as good as the Shags? No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's as good as the Shags. I know. What what's on TV, Tim? I'm 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 looking for something here. Hey, look, it's James. <laughs> it's James with black. <laughs> oh my <laughs> okay. Look, like, you sneeze. That's enough of that. How, how, how did Vinyl Richie get a Richard Dolan t-shirt. Uh, yeah. Where did that come from? Ever seen that? Oh, yeah. yeah. My vinyl Richie had with the Richie Dolan t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Now, where did you find a Doc Docker shirt? I made a Doc Docker I found it in one of your old videos. There's a, I said, do you have those for sale? Okay. Yeah, that, that, that was like, what do I do now? Well, you got one Doc Docker shirt. Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah, there's, they're not for sale. No. Because Joe Joe Mayo keeps saying T-shirts, and that he said it for about what, three years, I think. Mm -hmm. More than that. Yeah. Almost since I've Long known him. Mm -hmm. He's been saying T-shirts. I mm -hmm. have a T-shirt. I have three. I think there's about five in existence total. <laughs> I have three of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, back, back to the wall. Back to the wall. That's good. Oh, that's better. My background just that one. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, I thought that was going to be a, his logo. You know, Joe, Joe, me, Mr. Mayo, and had that that on the shirt. I, you know, I don't know. Yeah, that, that that was my idea for T-shirt. Use mm -hmm. that. Yeah, that was like I said. That was about three years ago or longer. Yeah, no, that's that's a long time ago. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh. uh I'm in bad shape now. I don't have any. You are in bad shape. Mm -hmm. You got to go shopping. Did you Did you ever hear my idea for his t-shirt? And he was thinking about it for a while. Oh, yeah. Um, my idea was the U.S. Hard Day's Night cover, <laughs> the red cover with the four pictures, and just a picture of the top of Joe's head on, in each one, a different picture of the four yeah, pictures of good. Joe's head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that would work. <laughs> Google. Now I have an idea. As in the Partridge Family, mm -hmm. other than David Cassidy, who <laughs> in the Partridge Family has put out solo albums? Like did Danny Bonaduce put one out? Yes. Yes. He, he yes. did. Yes, he did. Yes. I'm he sure sold Shirley, four copies. I think Shirley Jones probably put one out of like show tunes. Well, be, be yeah, before the she did thing. soundtracks. I don't know yeah. if she has any solo no, albums, albums, but she's mm -hmm. on soundtracks. All right, I'm going to go ahead and plug this phone back in now that's dead and, and see where we go from oh, there. Too soon, too soon. No, wait, wait, Mason. Right. Wait a while. Too soon. Let it, let it yeah, die. I got to have an alarm to set for me to get up to go to work in the morning. Oh, okay. Yeah, but you don't have to plug it in this instant. It's only nine o'clock where you are, if that. If if your phone's the same, you're not going to be able to set your alarm. So <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's true. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> let it go for another couple hours till eleven or something. Yeah. Yeah. You're too soon. Too soon. Okay. There you go. Surely didn't. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like I'm I got sure. you, babe. So, yeah, oh, that okay. just came out by itself, but that's okay. better. Mm -hmm. 
And then I don't know if Su uh, Susan Day or any of the other people did solo records. So. No, Susan Day wasn't musical. She was an actress. Yeah. Nobody yeah. was musical. But yeah, Danny did one. Um, and it's worth a bit of money now. Um, yeah, I bet it it's is. It's terrible. It's, mm -hmm. it's one of the worst things you're ever going to listen to in your life. But mm -hmm. I've, like funny. I said, I, I can't sit through an episode of that show. I've got the oh, first right. eight on this sampler, and I tried yeah. to watch an episode. It's like, you know, it's like, you know, terrible. Oh, I like it. I can't. I can't sit through the Brady Bunch. No, Brady I Bunch can't either. Is just no. Very annoyingly yeah. annoying. The later episodes are okay, like the one with Vincent Price when they go to Hawaii. That one's not bad. Uh, I I think they got worse and worse as they went. Yeah. Like. The Brady Bunch go to Hawaii, or do. the Brady Bunch yeah. go to Kings Island. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they get married. They go to Washington. I don't know what the <laughs> hell they're doing. Now, what what was Susan Day on? She was on one of those drama shows. Uh, was like, uh, what was that? LA Law, was LA Law and a LA bunch Law? of TV, okay. bunch of TV movies. Yeah, she she <laughs> didn't have to sing in that. No, she had a. She was in a movie. She was in a notorious movie with um, Cats. What's his name? William Ooh. Cat. Yeah. Um, yeah. Called oh, First Love, where she gets naked. <gasps> yeah. And she was <laughs> in a movie where she was a child molester or killed her daughter or something. And she was in several of those. So, and I think she's retired. Yeah. yeah. And Brady Sideburns. Hmm. Brady's had big hair near the end. Okay, who watched the Brady Bunch Hour? Maybe one. Remember the, <laughs> hey, you remember the Brady Bunch Hour? The Brady oh, yeah, Bunch I remember. Hour. But and it, the it, disco. Gotten, you know, like I produced by the that. same people who did the uh, and HR the, 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 the Yeah, yeah. yeah. Show. Mm -hmm. It was like more Sid and Marty Crofts than it yeah. was Brady Bunch. Mm -hmm. but, but, but the thing is, they couldn't get Eve Plum to reprise Man. her role. No. So they had to get somebody else there. <laughs> fake Jen! Fake that's Jen! Fake Jen. Mm -hmm. That's not the no. real Jen. That's a fake Jen. So it got canceled. Yeah, it was on when I was in high school. At least they noticed. I mean, mm -hmm. the poor first woman that played Marilyn on the Munsters, they got a new Marilyn and nobody even noticed. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't notice. Nobody noticed. <laughs> it, it was this dude, you're watching it like as an older person, you're seeing the credits come up. You know, yeah. Beverly Owen. Yeah. Yeah. They they don't I don't even think they look that much alike, but their hair was similar, I guess. Or, and that's they, they, all it they must have been like <laughs> Yeah. Ever wants to know if you ever watch Disney's Home on the Range. Don't think so. No. I've never seen it. Mm -mm. No. Thank you for your question. I'm looking for some of those classic Disney movies like the I want to see the the uh, Fess Parker Davy Crockett movies. No, the, uh, well I like them, Doc. I, 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 see, I and I want to see uh uh Kirk Douglas doing he lamb lamb pasted it on uh uh Saturday Night Live twenty thousand leagues. Under the now, that, now that I do have. You remember that? Just 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 for the octopus scene. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cause so, he went on Saturday Night Live and everybody said twenty thousand leagues. <laughs> <laughs> one of those uh, seasons that they didn't the ratings were too good, one of those bomb seasons. It's it's too early. Not yet. It'll be a while. Yeah, it's probably around February, probably. Check, uh, well, I think it'll be later than that. I think Disney's probably got it for yeah. a certain amount of time, probably six months at least. Mm -hmm. And then and it'll be after that. Yeah. It won't come out while Disney's February. still no. running it. I thought they're going to run it forever, though. I guess they have a certain amount of time. They... I don't think, I don't, they don't own it. They're just leasing yeah. it. You know, that's the thing. Everybody seems to think that like disney paid for this or something they didn't they're leasing they just that leased it. they did not pay for this they did not own this 
That's why people are worried about it. it won't come out because Disney doesn't put things out. Disney has nothing to do with it except they're leasing. Yeah, these games. Thank you. It's, it's, it's mm-hmm. got nothing to do with Disney. They didn't make Look, it. Yeah. It's it's Get up to people. Apple. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, definitely something, but we just don't know when or what. Yeah. So yeah, Peter Jackson seems to think it's something will eventually come out, but he doesn't. Know. Some extra footage, maybe um, whatever bonus stuff. Well, yeah. I know most people would like to see at least the three videos that aren't in it and the complete rooftop without all the stuff. I know most mm-hmm. people would like to see and that. the original what, what three movie. videos aren't in it? I thought I thought everything. Well, in that it. will come out separately, but. Peter wait, Jackson wait, 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 wait. I, I thought think everything too. was in it. No, Is he avoided that- um, m- most of the Let It Be movie. 10 4. Yeah. On purpose. Yeah. Well, I thought, the whole point of this to, I thought the whole point of the, the seven hours of footage was to include everything that was put to tape. No. no there's 60 hours of tape. How could you do that? <laughs> Yeah. Really? There's like we no, we probably got the the watchable most watchable stuff of the sixty hours. His, yeah. his point was to show, tell the get back story, but tell it in a very different way than the original, and he did. As far as I know, I still haven't seen it, but well, I've the, seen the, enough. The of Dream movie has no story basically. Well, I gotta yeah. say, I'm. Yeah. If there's a negative I had with the Get Back film, it's that Michael Lindsay Hogg is in too much of it, and I, I think I think he's kind of annoying because he, he's he's just trying to shout all the orders for everything, and I'm like, dude, let the Beatles just make their own decisions for once. Well, he he was directing the film; it was his film. I get yeah. that he, he was, was directing, directing his film. film That's but... what the director does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Peter Jackson took all of that 60 hours and what it was supposed to be f- for theatrical. Can you imagine sitting in there in the theater for eight hours, or even six for that matter? No, it would have been it would have been so you know, you know what would have worked though? Taking the 60 hours of footage, the full 60 hours of footage, and stretching that out to an actual series on Disney Plus rather than just three parts. No, it'll no, be way too boring. People were bored already. Even some fans were bored a little bit by it. Mm-hmm. No, this, this it is. is long it, enough. It, it gets to be like, geez, you know. Like, yeah. it's fascinating as it is and all this. But, okay, now we're going to play two of us again. Oh, yeah. Man. But I, I understand, I think, why he, he's trying to put the watcher, the viewer, in in the room, <laughs> in, the, in, in the room as one of the Beatles. And... Mm-hmm. Especially like all the fooling around and stuff to show you that it was mm-hmm. frustrating because they they were on a time deadline here, and everybody's just screwing around and nothing's getting done. <laughs> <laughs> but the weird thing I don't understand. Okay, they've got a deadline. Ringo, they've got till the thirty first, and then Ringo is off. But I've been reading the chronology of the Beatles. Thank you, Robert S. And um, Ringo didn't start filming until May. So I don't know what the rush was. It was another month plus before well, Ringo Well, they did have to get filming. out of the studio at Twickenham because they were bringing the sets for the Magic Christian in. Yeah, but mm-hmm. but they did. They, they left early. So I don't know why they couldn't have kept going at Apple. Apple. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't make sense, do it. No, because because Ringo didn't start filming, like I said, till sometime in May. So they had another three months or something, to, two months to do yeah. something. Yeah. Oh. And it's funny, I've been reading this book that Robert sent me, and I found two major inaccuracies in it. I don't know if they're just typos or what. But it, it's cracked me up because how many people read a book and proofread a book and everything before it goes out? Mm. And the first one, it says Wildlife was released in the UK in no, November, whatever, of 1971. And 
in November of 1980 in America. <laughs> 1980. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's wrong. I think that's wrong. <laughs> or some 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 little minor functionary looked it up, and that's maybe when it came out on Columbia in America. But <laughs> that's yeah. probably right. It probably he's probably got the date for Columbia. Um, and the other one is it's got this picture of McCartney, clearly the 1975 tour, probably in Australia or something. And it said um, Wings Tour, 1989 to 1990. <laughs> wow. Wings Tour. That's exactly what it says. Wings Tour. Oh, Wings were touring in 1990. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, I think they're confusing that, Tim. I think they're like. Wings, so Wings toured, were, Wings were on the Flowers and the Dirt tour, is what they're saying. Yeah, apparently, apparently, according to this book, those are the only two I found, but they both cracked me up. Stupid book. <laughs> it's still, it was still a good book, though, because oh, no, it's basically good. all the text was uh, them speaking. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, the Get Back book, the Get Back book is great, yeah. Yeah. Oh, what book were you referring to? Oh, um, it's the Beatles are unseen archives or something like that. Oh. It's tons of pictures, and they also give you chronologies and things. Oh. And yeah, Robert sent me. Robert S sent me that one. Robert P sent me the other book. Mm. I'm inundated with books. Thank you both very mm. kindly. Well. McCurtain's yeah, no. Couple, uh, the book is great, uh, Robert. I love the book. There's just these two little mistakes in it that just crack me up. And one is a photo caption, and the other one is in the chronology of events. Is the other one, but they're, for, they're for very all of glaring them? errors. I wonder what's next. Well, for, for, for all of them, all of them, because like the next one. For John, it's supposed to be that sometime in New York City, I believe. Yeah. Okay, and we got uh, <clears throat> London Town and uh, Back to the Eggs. Yeah. And, They'll probably um, put out something else. And then, I, I've like, heard them doing um, further doing the concert for Bangladesh. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I hope they reissue at least a couple of the Ringo. Oh, good there's things. stuff coming. Oh, I'm there's sure. Stuff coming. Yeah. You can buy Beatles stuff, guys. It's it's coming. Save your save <laughs> your money. There's more stuff coming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just hold on to your wallets. For, yeah. You know, save your Christmas money, guys. I'd like to see him do Magical Mystery Tour, because you know there's Giles two. says you can't go back to the earlier stuff because everything's too primitive. Well, they haven't done Magical Mystery Tour yet, and that's mm -hmm. not primitive. And you know, I'd they, like to hear they, they, official that outtakes. Being said, so. They can do they can do something with like all like the original songs off Yellow Submarine, the soundtrack. They already did that. They yeah, but there's the only songs. four. There's only four songs. What are you gonna <laughs> what are you gonna do with that? You know, mystery I'm tours sure always got a lot of mm -hmm. Just do a double EP or a double album. Mm -hmm. I know. Let's put all the EPs together. Yeah, and you have right. one one long playing room. And you don't have to buy the EPs. You can buy oh, the absolutely. album and they're all there. Yeah, they they could actually do that. That would actually yeah. not be a, a – not put them all together, but like the 45 thing, do an EP box. They haven't done yeah, one yeah. of those since the 80s. Yeah. That so would be a that. bad idea, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Do the Ringo box, and it you can charge a thousand dollars, and he can sign <laughs> the first five hundred copies, you know. And sure. uh, a little bit of Ringo in every box. Yes. Yeah. A little sure. bit of peace, peace and love in every box. Hear me out here. Hear me out here. We need another reissue of Two Virgins. <laughs> They did actually. 
two virgins, two virgins came out a couple years ago on oh, all yeah. of those albums did. Yeah, they on did. white vinyl. On, on CD. Um, they yeah. were on they were on colored vinyl yeah, as no, well like, as um, like an updated remixed version, like what they've done with plastic. What are you fans. gonna remix? It's people shouting into a microphone and yeah, John and what are you gonna remix. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't even know it's, if it's stereo. That's part of the <laughs> joke. That's part of my joke. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be good. We can and, all be a star. And an autograph. Yes. Yeah. Peace and love, Ringo. Ringo tends to put out Ringo. lame stuff, though. Ringo's yeah. never put out outtakes. Mm-hmm. Like when he did a box a few years ago for Record Store Day, it only had 345s in it that are like you can pick up at any flea market for like two bucks a pop in their picture sleeves. And, you know, they charge you 40 bucks for it. And, you know, Still better. something interesting. Yes. That doesn't interest me at all. Still better than George, uh, with the exception of recent years. Because with George, we're finally getting, just finally starting to get more deep stuff. My, my only problem with George is he doesn't give you enough, and they charge too much. And that's, I mean, it's not George's fault. <laughs> well, that's the Harrison too. State's problem. The but it's, it's not even their fault. They don't put the dollar mark on it. But, you know, I mean, like, I liked early takes, but why? Where's volume do a two? Track album? Why not at least do a 12 track album? Why, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah, early takes why, is nice, but where's volume two? Yeah, why? And why, why give so little, you know? Didn't you appreciate those little figures that you can set up on your shelf and oh yeah, you know, yeah. i mean I'll, I'll i'll give an example here i'll give an example so the original demo of i'll still love you before george gave it away to ringo the one that he recorded during the all things must pass sessions that's bands down if that version uh was still out there which i'm lucky i heard it before it disappeared but if it was still out there, I would consider that to be the best version of the song that there is. And that would work perfectly on like an early takes volume two or something like that. But alas, we don't have that. No. Well, it'll never come out, but I wish they'd release George's version of it's um now I can't think of the name of the damn song because um it don't come easy. Yeah. That'll never come out, but yeah, that'd be well, nice. I mean, I've I mean I've heard that version. I mean it's been Everybody stuff like that. Stuff like that's been leaked out on YouTube and people have even like oh, mashed up George's vocal with Ringo's vocal and kind of tried to make a duet type thing out of that. Oh yeah, it wouldn't be hard. George has a demo. I don't know if the video is still up on YouTube. I made an audio track out of it and I played it on a podcast maybe last year for New Year's. <laughs> this thing called Flying Hour, and it's a not Flying Hour. Um, Fear of Flying. Yeah, no, Fear Flying, of flying. Hour actually got released as a bonus track on the. Yeah, no, no, this is Fear of, of Flying. Uh, sometime in the, somewhere in England, and it's a fantastic song. And George's demo was just him on an acoustic guitar, and somebody finished the track. And you'd swear that this was George all the way through, from the guitar playing. Sounds like Ringo on drums. It's it's a fantastic track, and this guy finished. It's only the demo is only like a minute and a half, and this guy turned it into like a three and a half minute track, mm. and it's fantastic. It's it's just there are cool people out there that can actually you know. I think that's what he was just talking about. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. That version of Fear of Flying that someone finished. Yes, it's fantastic. It's one of my favorite George songs, <laughs> and it's not even real. <laughs> it, 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 it's like taking real love and uh, finishing it after the fact, you know. It's, except he had pretty much a full song to work yeah, with. This came out better than that. Yeah, a, a, a better example. A better example, Doc, would be now and then. That that that's one that needs some work, needs some finishing work, because what what we have that we've heard of it is is pretty impressive already, but. It still sounds incomplete. You know, it doesn't sound all the way put together like they did with Freeze a Bird and Real Love. Mm. Yeah, but it even sounds, George it sounds, like like they, it. it sounds like some YouTuber YouTuber just took the track that they made for the anthology mm-hmm. and just 
overdub, cheaply overdub John's demo vocal of now and then on top of it. That's all it sounds like. It doesn't sound like there's any studio treatment or anything like that. Well, no, all these were on like a, just a cassette, I think. You know, just sit him sitting at a piano and hitting the, you know, just do like a, a run through or something like that. And that's all they got to work with. Have you guys heard George and Alvin Lee doing the bluest blues? It's great. No, I haven't. I have not. No. I need. Uh, I'll be honest. I don't know enough about Alvin Lee. I need to learn more about this so guy. He, he was from ten years after. No. Yeah. In in mm -hmm. an interview once, I have this interview of Dave Edmonds, and the guy asked Dave Edmonds, "If you weren't Dave Edmonds and you could be anybody else, who would you be?" And Dave Edmonds didn't even hesitate. He said, I'd be Alvin Lee. Mm. <laughs> I'm like, wow, because Dave Edmonds is a pretty good guitar player. <laughs> uh, Z ZCX says, that's the link to the song with the completed backing. Mm. Oh, it must still be up. Oh. They do ourselves a favor. Look it up on YouTube. Yeah. Right after we watch Land of the Giants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I started to watch that. I couldn't finish it. <laughs> no, I don't like that one or the time tunnel. You know, like I tried. Sometimes I try. You, you know what? This week, I even, you know, like, was back on Tuesday, I guess, that what was not going to be a sneeze show. Yeah. Nothing was going on YouTube. I said, do I actually have to turn on the television? So I did turn on the television. I went poop, poop, poop. And I found The Flash. Okay. <laughs> Superhero thing. I said, oh, gee, I haven't watched this since it first started. You know, and it's been on for seven seasons. <laughs> or so. okay. What's The Flash doing? All they did was sit and talk at each other. Two women. Gee, what are we going to do today? I don't know. Are you making anything for supper tonight? I don't know. This is, this is the stupidest show. You know, nothing's yeah. going on. Well, well, like, like, well, it was the Tim Allen show not long after that. Yeah. Save, save <laughs> Tuesday night. Yes. And you watch that show uh, Lost in Space a lot. And I like, uh, I guess I'm the only one that likes the voyage to the bottom of the sea better than Lost in Space. Well, down I'm the sure submarine. That's funny. Well, it's not funny at all. It's, you know. Yeah, well, Lost and, in Space got to be a comedy. Yeah, Lost in Space is a comedy, and they reuse the monster suits. Oh, yes, of course, because cause it's mm. cheap. It's oh, yeah. Cheaper. Paint it's it green price. and use it on the next show. Just you watch Lost in Space and turn on, oh, okay, he's in here now. Or, yeah, they just paint it green or something. No, I'm, yeah. I'm not seeing the YouTube link. I, I don't see it. No. Nah. It's not working. It's not I even in private. Quiet. It's not working. Ooh. Ooh. But but anyway, yeah, while watching that stupid flash show, it's like nothing's going on. I, what why is this even still on after seven seasons? Yeah. It's like boring as hell. Mm -hmm. okay. Talk fest. Blah, 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 blah. And every, everything's gotta be female centric. Yeah. Like, no, none of the shows that we used to watch were female centric. No. no talk about you. What what boyfriend are you seeing today? Well, I'm seeing going to go see out. Oh, he's my boyfriend. What are you talking about? Yeah. I've been watching a lot of fifties TV. There's all sorts of fifties shows on YouTube. You know what I watch in the morning if I if I get up early enough? What? Burns and L. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think Gracie is so funny. Yeah. I love, I love Gracie. And that actress who was on Petticoat Junction is on there. Yeah, and yeah well, that's... B, what's your name? B. B Benadir B. was on. Uh, she's like and, the Navy. And so on the earlier episode, she's glamorous, you know? She's not... Well, the, see, the uh, pro, one of the producers or whatever on Birds and Allen was uh, that Hen Paul Henning. Yeah. When he... He was like in awe of B. Like she should have her own show. She's yeah. 
So when he created Petticoat Junction, he created it with her in mind. Yeah. That's going to be your show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Lost in Space Report, Serious and Serious. Only in the first five or six episodes. After that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It, it, yeah. It, it, when it, they're riding around cool. in the car, it's serious. After that, it's not. No, yeah. not at all. It, it, it didn't take long to get campy. Which did you choose when last? Oh, I, I, I chose uh, Batman. Because, Everybody did. <laughs> yeah, because it's only, on, it's only on for half an hour, so you could, you know, go back. Well, when I was when I was a kid, I used to try to watch both shows. Either, oh, yeah. Cat, either flip, or I can put Batman on on the big TV and run in there and watch Batman, and run back in here and watch Lost in Space, and remember because Batman is only half an hour. Yeah, so you watch the first half hour of mm -hmm. Batman. Now in this day and time, all you gotta do is like, if you want to watch one, if you want to watch both programs, just watch one live and set the other one to record on DVR. Well, that's today. Yeah. You couldn't do that back in sixty. In the sixties, you didn't do that. Oh, <laughs> you know. No, no. I I remember when Gotham started. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I I thought Gotham was great when it first started because I thought this is kind of <laughs> Kind of like Batman Sideways or something. Yeah, kind of dark. And it, yeah, I I thought it was pretty neat, but it, it's you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think I saw that movie. Yeah, Birds and Allen is great. I I, I yeah. like, it. but but you know, like after Birds and Allen uh, comes on, a uh, father knows best. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <sighs> Well, you know, they have a bunch of episodes of a show. Uh, do you like? Do you like the show Leave It to Beaver? Yeah, I never got into that. Oh, really? I know how hugely popular it is, but I never got into it. Because I watched it. They syndicated it in like '66. Oh and sure. I seeing them, and seeing that show just went off the air '63, so mm -hmm. it was just a couple of years. So it's feeds. But I, you kind of wonder. That's a show. I don't think I would ever want to watch in color. You know, there are certain shows that are destined to be black and white forever. I and that, that way, but I, I know Leave It to Beaver is a hugely popular show, but I never got into it. Yeah. I well, I watched it as a kid, and every once in a while, there are all kinds of episodes for free. Online. You know, Jeff, you're a very wise guy because uh, with, with that statement, because think of we all remember what they turned the freaking three stooges into when they tried to colorize that. Mm -hmm. I don't so mind the meant to be black and white. I, I don't mind the colorized stooges. They don't bother me at all. Some things work in color and some yeah. don't. I used to hate colorization, but if they mm -hmm. do a really good job, it can be like, I think my favorite version of like Miracle on 34th Street is the color version. Mm -hmm. And I'm a film guy and i'm a purist but that film just looks so much better in color well yeah. like well, i'll, I'll, I'll reason... give an example here like some some guy on youtube decided to use cheap colorization to try to colorize the 1964 teenage music international show you, you know the tammy show from 64. The tammy show, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he tried to use fake well he tried to use cheap colorization to colorize it and you know it's that type where you know when you've got it on a still shot it looks decent but then when it, when you get any motion you can you know it, it's trying to focus onto that object you know what i'm talking about yeah there's tons of bad colorization on youtube mm -hmm. <laughs> there's tons of silent movies that have been colorized and yeah, but they, they can do colorization pretty darn good. What about, what about when like when Disney in the 90s went back and colorized a lot of the old Mickey cartoons? Uh, hmm, we had the Disney Channel then. I don't remember that, but I guess it could have happened. I'm not sure. Like in, yeah, like I mean, in the early 90s. Cartoons are easy colorized. to colorize compared to. Yeah. Yeah. But, but yeah, Disney did had Technicolor before anybody else did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, but, like, they they yeah, had but, like the, by 1937 they had color. Or, the, like, well, 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 the first couple of dis the first couple of Mickey cartoons 
originally black were done in black and white. Sure. Then in the 90s, yeah. Disney went back and redid them in color. So so you can get, uh, what's his face? Uh, Steamboat Willie. No, Steamboat. no, that's one that, that's one that they, that, that's one of them that they never bothered with. Well, that's the first one. Yeah. <laughs> like, like actually, it's crazy. not. It's actually not the first one. Playing Crazy came out before Steamboat Willie. Playing Crazy was made before Steamboat Willie. It was done silent. Willie was the first sound cartoon. Hmm. So they went back and took Playing Crazy and he put sound on it. It, it was made first. But they held it back and put sound to it. Yeah. And put it after Steamboat. I've seen all sorts of weird. I mean, when they're trying to colorize Laurel and Hardy, you know, like, come on. <coughs> yeah, you know? I've seen all of that and Chaplin and Keaton. Yeah. And I've seen all uh, that kind of stuff. Yeah. And, you know, oh, yeah. Color, I don't color care what people, yeah. As long as you can still get the original, I don't really. It's it's like you know remixing the Beatles. Go ahead, mm -hmm. as long as I can still get the original ones, do yeah. what you want. Sure, a hard day's night in color. Would everybody go like, ah, I can't stand it? <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's a movie I don't want to see in color. No, just turn your color. I just don't. It's 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 at a place and time, and it's. It it, it well, hard these things looks always, like a documentary, and that's good that it's shot in black and white. Yeah, you and know, a lot of those looks like a comic book. It should be in color. Mm -hmm. And a lot of how those I've buildings it is like that big building that they're is. in. Mm -hmm. What? 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 How I've always how I've always viewed it is a hard day's night. If you want to see it in color, go watch Help. Yeah. No, no it's a different movie. Get out of here. Two completely yeah, different. Yeah, but that's the Beatles movie in color. Film. Yeah. Two completely. The Hard Day's yeah. Night is. A, <clears throat> I mean, it's it's a pseudo. It's a mockumentary almost. You know. Yeah. I mean, it, and oh, Help is better. Help is better by no, I, no, Help is not better. Hard Day's Night is one of the best films of the. Hard Day's season. Night's great. Yeah. Okay, okay, help actually has a plot that it goes with. A Hard Day's Night is Beatles running from screaming girls. Oh, uh, they, they, they got to go do some performances. Hard, hard, hard Day's oh, Night Ringo is a fictional, like, week in the life of the Beatles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you know what? As far as an entertaining film, it just doesn't pull me uh, entertaining-wise as well, much as Help I, does because Help actually yeah. tries to do something interesting with the story. I'm very entertained by it. Help, I think, is m fairly stupid, if you want my... It's just got a stupid... It's got a stupid oh, yeah, story. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Ringo do you think can't get a ring off, doer, then? So they're going to kill him. I mean, that, that, yeah, that's gonna, look, brilliant writing. Yeah. He's the <laughs> About spies, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I'd honestly, yeah. I, I'd honestly yeah. hate to see what you think about magical mystery. So too. then, so then, so then, because Ringo has a ring on his finger, they have to go to the Alps skiing, and then they have to go to the Bahamas because Ringo yeah. has a ring on his finger. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't yeah, have to. That's part of the brilliance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you know why? Because they're saying like, uh, "We got the thing coming." Where we? We will have never been to the Bahamas. Well, then let's go to the Bahamas. Exactly, yeah. exactly. It was just a, a boondoggle. And, and you don't go to the Bahamas in January because I heard they were freezing. Yeah. Well, well yeah. they were in. Where were they? Norway or something? I don't know. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I, I don't don't know. know. I don't care. It's always been my preferred movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but even well, Bond movies, you know, one minute for it, but I Hard Day's Night. Hard Day's a great movie, and if you like that, you need to pick up the Dave Clark Five movie, Having a Wild Weekend, and it was made <laughs> in 1965. A lot of the same, you see a lot of the same buildings. Yeah, the yeah, Magical Mystery Tour is stupid, yeah. but here's the thing. Here's why I love Magical Mystery Tour, despite its many faults. It's stupid, but it's supposed yeah. to be stupid. <laughs> that's the 
That yeah, was the, the whole the, idea behind it was to be an unscripted acid trip. It's let's get ourselves a bus and go driving off and then film whatever happens. No, the unscripted acid trip was the monkeys movie. Head. Oh, that, that was, was pretty, that was really well. I know, but they were dropping acid and writing the stuff down. But yeah. you know who wrote that? Uh, what's his name? Uh, what's that guy's name? Yeah, yeah, him and the monkeys and their producers. Because I Jack, have, Nichols, Jack Nicholson yeah. wrote the original screenplay for yeah. the head movie. Yeah, and uh, I've had friends. I know a couple of friends whose parents, you know, went home in the middle of the head. It doesn't make sense, you know. I loved it. It did make sense because at the end, it came right around to the beginning. It loops. I love that. Yeah, that it, was good. It ends I mean, exactly the way it begins. It's I mean, if you're a teenager, yeah, but it came out in 1968, and I was in grade school. You know, I thought. Oh yeah, no, no, was that was, stuff, you know. That was the. But what, else, what else came out in 1968, and that was also a film uh, based on a band. Yellow Submarine. I think that was 69, wasn't it? The, the, no, the film, film got no, released film. in 68. The film got released in the late summer of 68. Okay. The soundtrack didn't come out until 69. The soundtrack of 69. Okay. Um, but no, the monkeys were tired of 12 year old girls screaming yeah. at them. So they wanted to do something. something. Adult. Yeah, they, they wanted to make something unlike the television show. And they did. They yeah. wanted, to, they wanted they to make something unlike anything. They wanted to make something unlike anything. Yeah, and they did. They succeeded. I like But that. the whole idea was to not be the TV show. Right. And at the time, it was a disaster. But later, it's it's a pretty good movie now. You know. Well, it's too late like, for what's that. What's about anyways? Yeah. <laughs> what, what, if you've got a movie called Head, like what kind of plot is it supposed to have, if Ooh. any? <laughs> head, that, head. head doesn't have a plot. Head no. is just an experience. Mm -hmm. There's a guy that what is it like? Is it like, like the, goes, head, head. Is it like an hour-long version of the flying sequence in Magical Mystery Tour? Is that what we're talking about? No. Oh. No, no. It's head, a series head. of little things. Head is interesting. Uh, it, it, it's, you might not like it, but it's interesting. And it's it got a next one of cello. Oh, yeah. And it, and it, it doesn't uh, stop. It doesn't let up. It just goes and, and goes and goes part, until part of the movie, you're at the beginning is, again. Yeah, they jump off a bridge. <laughs> and then uh, yeah. there's the part where Davy Jones gets beat up. And uh, Peter Tork is sitting here with an ice cream cone that's melting around his hand. And it, just all weird stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. yes, I saw it when also, you also have the scene there's, in there's, Magical there's, Mystery there's, there's children the starving scene. in in India, so he doesn't want to eat the ice cream yeah. because somebody else could could eat it that deserves it more than he does. But at the same time, yeah. it's just melting down his hand, and it's you know. He, so he's all he's all for clump. <laughs> and actually, <laughs> some of the. Here. The uh, head soundtrack album is pretty good. It was okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was all right. Yeah. It's but, good. I don't know, aside from Circle Sky and. It's short. I think it's good. It just it needs more songs. There's only like yeah. six or seven songs on it. Right. And it after needs, that, it needs they, to be longer. They did that uh, NBC special, 33 and the Third. <laughs> Yeah, which is horrible. Yeah, that's that's trippy in itself. Yeah, it's, I don't know. They just they, they just went to pot after the series ended. Like they didn't know what to do. I know. But 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 that's the guys. About, it's not the production company so much. Because mm -hmm. they they, they about, well, huh? So let's talk about Pink Floyd's movie, The Wall. <laughs> uh, I've why? Seen, I've never seen it. Because it's kind I of saw it a long time ago. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. I saw it a long time. I prefer the album. So. I think it was the other way around. Mm. Then, then they went to mushrooms or something. Mm -hmm. Or brand flakes. I don't know. 
I don't know anything about the wall, so I'll just. The album was a lot good. It was actually one guy dominating the other guys in the band, trying to tell them, you know, writing all the songs and tell them what to play. That's what the final cut became. The final oh, cut was the solo album. Oh. So oh. it was Roger Waters and the other guys, you know, singing I mean, his song. I, I like another brick in the wall. I like that whole sequence. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, with the ranking, do it again. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. The best thing oh. about the monkey special was the the end, and then they ruined it by bringing all those other people in. But listen to the band was actually good. Yeah. Somebody's posted a video on YouTube. It's like twelve minutes long of this but a lot of that noise in that was overdubbed so this yeah. doesn't have it so i made i i remixed it and i made like a five and a half version of monkeys listen to the band live which is actually listenable and pretty good mm -hmm. um how many versions of listen to the band are there like five or six i have an earlier version i think there's two aren't there yeah i think there's only two it's except mm -hmm. for the 33 and the third oh, version oh, that never got released mm -hmm. Um, maybe even thinking of Circle Sky. Yeah, Circle I Sky. There's so three or four. Mm -hmm. Like, and it well, took we can, well, let's do Circle Sky again. Yeah, and yeah. There's four busy. versions. There's four official Circle Sky. Well, if you count the new Mickey album, there's five. <laughs> mm -hmm. Every time you come, let's do Circle Sky again. You know. I remember trying to watch it when it came out because it was up against the Grammys at the time. And it was the episode, it was the 1969, I believe, Grammys where the Beatles won the Grammy for Let It Be, and Paul and Linda came in and received it. Oh, that's nice. So that was on ABC, and the monkeys were on NBC. So, mm -hmm. yeah, at the time. How, how many think Paul McCartney's going to win a Grammy this year? No one. No, no uh, one. That's doubtful. Including, including Paul McCartney, no one. <laughs> It'd be nice, but it's doubtful. Yeah. No, but he's, he's nominated for best rock album, I think. Yeah. Well, Thirty-three. To, I mean, I, I mean, to quote, to quote Paul himself, "Cried for no one." A love that should have lasted years. If, 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 even today, when I was driving in my car to go get a haircut, I had the uh, Beatles channel on, and I said. Hey, let's play Find My Way off McCartney 3. And, you know, when you're listening in a car, it's, you know, you get to really pay attention to a song because you're kind of in a bubble. You know, mm -hmm. and you turn it up and you're listening to Find My Way and it's like, <laughs> you're like oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I know my rocks are right. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. Oh. Yeah, but, but but then uh, was it Wednesday night? I was in a store looking for bargoons. Mm -hmm. Didn't find wow. it. Anyway, mm -hmm. I overheard some guy talking about Paul McCartney at the induction of the Foo Fighters at the Hall of Fame. Oh, oh, oh. oh. worst and I've ever heard him. I didn't. That, that was that was. <laughs> and the, and the guy said Paul didn't sound good. He sounded tired. I'm going like no, he's no. not tired. That's his voice. His voice. That is it. Sorry, that's his no. Voice. That is his voice. He's that's, not. That's tired. all he's got left. Yeah. yeah. That's the reason that McCartney three was so much better than Egypt Station because his he had he got to rest his voice, didn't he? Because he sounded yeah he sounded. I thought oh, his yeah, voice was better on McCartney three than Egypt yeah. Station. Yeah. Yeah, his voice on McCartney 3 sounded a lot more like it did on, say, New than Egypt Station. Yeah. But Rico is just old, too. Mm -hmm. Even Mickey Dolan's is just old, too. Well, Ringo well, Ringo didn't spend years oh, doing it relentlessly oh, like Paul um, did. It, Watch that! Watch that Grammy show a few years ago when Paul and Ringo did 
For the first time ever, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band with a little help from my friends. They're both terrible. It's not just Paul. Ringo is really Ooh. bad, too. <laughs> Ringo is screeching on some notes. You're hearing a lot of coming out of Ringo. Um, neither one are, are very good. Well, yeah, but I saw Ringo here in concert about two years ago, or it must have been three now, just before the pandemic, and he sounded fine to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he's also got most of the songs, he's got at least one person singing along with him, too. Oh, it's a kind of... <laughs> and that helps. Paul does, too. Paul does too when Paul well, sings. Abe's well, back there on the drums singing along to everything Paul's singing. <laughs> well, that's kind of like the thing with Phil Collins. So like he might be sitting up front, but he's got other singers behind him covering up any. Uh, yeah. 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 Thing on. yeah. <laughs> Must be some. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> yeah. recorded vocals. That might be. Wow. Ooh. Richie's here. Hello, Richie. Richie's here. <laughs> you don't get to say hello. Where did you get that Richard Dolan t-shirt? <laughs> I asked that an hour ago. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. The bell must have went off. I better get on that show so we can tell them where the Richie Dolan t-shirt came from. So I I want one for Christmas. Send me one for Christmas. Anybody out there send send me a, a Richard Dolan t-shirt for Christmas. I would I take a medium, by the way. Oh. Okay. <laughs> You're thin. No, I'm short. Oh, oh, okay. You're okay. I'm 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 short and you, well. You take a I medium because I take a two X. I'm thin here, but I'm. Mm -hmm. I've I've got some belly. Yeah, oh, me too. Mm -hmm. Oh, he made it. Oh, he made it, so. Oh. You'll have to cut and paste, Doc. Just get you a shirt and cut yeah. it out a piece and yeah. stick it on there, and you know. You can yes, have this that is that photo I, I have if movie. you want it, Doc. <laughs> Getting back in bed at 69. Yes. Mm. The big you, ragu. Hit yeah. The big and he was, I think, wasn't he a professional dancer too for a while? Sing, singer at least. Yeah. They, they had to work the singing into just what I go from rags to riches. Yeah. Oh, way to go, Eddie. Thank you. Thank you. That's and all after the show went off, you see him on Love Boat every once in a while, and that's it. <laughs> well, well, you saw everybody on, look, there's Dick Van Dyke. Yeah. <laughs> and anybody who was anybody. on a show, <laughs> look, there's Ron Palua. Wasn't he Horshack? What's he doing? Yeah. You know? On the Love Boat. They put everybody on the Love Boat. No, they'll put anybody on the Love Boat. Yeah, and it doesn't matter how old they are. because. No. They put all these old, old, old motion picture stars that are like 90, you know. Look, there's Jane Meadows. What are Jane Meadows, and she's on. Hot and, Porter. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I saw Raymond Burr on the love boat. Yeah. That would have exactly. been interesting. He was, he was Carmine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 He was Carmine. He the big ragu. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're losing them all, kids. It's funny how... Oh, we're sort of watching old television. All those people we used to watch in television are dying. Oh, I know. Ew. We get old. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I mean, if you're, you're old, if you remember the 1960s, if you remember walking around, you know. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, it, 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 it's, it's unfair. There's no more I, Irene. I read, I read a book yeah. once about... Um, I read a book about early television once and people were freaked out a little bit because they needed to fill time. So somebody got the idea, we can show old movies. So they started mm -hmm. showing movies on television. This is the early, early mm -hmm. days. And people were freaked yeah. out because for the first time ever, they're seeing dead people up on a screen, walking <laughs> around and moving. And it freaked yeah. them out. It took them a while to get used to the idea that, we're, that this is on tape or film or whatever. And look, that person, because he didn't go, they didn't, you know, show movies well, yeah, again because, very because rarely. Because they, thought they were seeing real life. Yeah. Yeah, so, so, yeah so, you know, and here's these people on TV that are dead, and there they are. And it was it was weird. 
it, 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 it's like people writing into the Coast Guard every week saying, why can't you go out and rescue those seven people on that island? Oh, yeah. What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> You we see them every week. They're on this island. They can't get off. Why aren't you out there resting? Yeah. They, they would get letters like that. Like, yeah. And and they're surviving out there with a laugh track and everything. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. For a half an hour every week. Yeah. <laughs> Television isn't real, people. No. Nope. Uh, it's fine. I, yeah. I knew that if. You know, like watching Bewitched. You mm -hmm. know, I knew how they did it back then. Once yeah. I'm like six or so years old, I said, "I know how they're doing that." Stop the camera. Have the guy get out of the frame and then restart the camera. Poof, they're gone. Yeah. What in the sound effect? Magic. Wow, it's really working out here. Whoa. People. Uh, yeah, see, I know Richie did watch Bewitched. Mm -hmm. We all did. Sure, I did. I watched it. In, I watched it in reruns. The original series, I was probably had something else on. It was up against so, <laughs> yes, you know. the dead, entertaining the living. Yeah, yeah. And it'll be like that forever. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Yeah, that's why we're still listening to these guys. Yeah. After 50 years. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're still listening to Frank Sinatra. Guy Lombardo. Whatever. Kerry Colonna. You yeah. just fun. Yeah. I dream of I dream of Jeannie was funner. I preferred Bewitched. Oh, okay. You got Jeannie? Yeah, oh, you got both of them. Both I of them, yeah. Both uh, of them. Uh, Samantha versus Jeannie. So one was a witch, the other one was a genie. So yeah. you know. Yeah, I, I always took it as uh ah, genie's just a cheap copy of Bewitched. You know? Yeah. I I tried to to watch that, so I'm like, I don't get this. Yeah, Jeannie got a little silly, but it was okay, yeah. Yeah. I I, I Another one I couldn't stand was Hogan's Heroes. I didn't like Hogan's Heroes a whole lot. I, I, I don't know how it lasted as long as it did. What do you What do you do? I mean, they're in a converse, a, a concentration camp, and you know. So, I think there was some uh, protesting, I believe, during the '60s from people from the Holocaust. Said you're making fun out of, you know, all these people. I, I believe that's right. It was on the news. I remember, and. Uh, don't recall. Yeah, the 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 uh, premise from uh, Bewitched was so simple. You know, like there was an episode. I think uh, <laughs> he's taking a nap. We don't know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but that was But the '60s. That's what it was for you. Yeah. 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 I think Genie came on after the monkeys. Didn't it? I think so. Yeah. I Monday. think so. On Monday night, I think yeah. Monkey was at seven thirty and Jeannie might have been at eight. Do you remember what show came on after they canceled the monkeys? You mean what did they replace it with? Yeah. Do, 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 do. You don't remember? The classic comedy show? Do, Very do. funny. Do, 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 do. There was two guys. And a bunch of other people. <laughs> uh, you don't remember Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In? Oh, okay. Okay. All right. That was the show that... <laughs> I, was like, what? I'm, I was stuck on... Doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking like Twilight Zone? No. No. That was before. <laughs> I don't know. But it's funny. When, when uh, Laugh-In was on, I loved it. Oh, yeah. Me too. But put it in front of me now and I go... I don't know. Yeah. What did I see in this? I don't. It, it was sixties, and it was yeah, the. No, it's, you know. it's a time capsule. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But but when Laugh-In was on, I I watched the, like Faithful. 
know, they had the Beatles or they had Ringo on. They had the monkeys on. They had uh, John Wayne of all people on. You know, they had President Nixon back then. And Richard Nixon, yeah. Yeah, they had all sorts of people. It was the show to watch back then. It was, it was the show to be on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you know, it was so big then. But when you watch it, or at least when I watch it now, it's like. Ah. Mm -hmm. ah. I have a, a VHS somewhere <laughs> that has some bloopers from Warren Martin's laugh in, and they're hilarious. Well, maybe, but I, I, they I, are. I, I think it was decades had a weekend binge of mm -hmm. laughing. Yeah. I tried to watch it. Yeah. Uh, very difficult. Very difficult. Yeah. You can like it. it, it it's yeah. like you watch it back then. You watch it now and you go, what did I see in this? Yeah. Well, it was like, it was the time, the sign of the time. Like yeah, you that's your sweet baby. Yeah. 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 Here come the judge. All Talk that kind of me. stuff. Talk it to me. All that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. But it just doesn't. Mm. But what do they call it when something doesn't, it doesn't, uh, like it, after a it, while? It's dated? Date well dated. Mm -hmm. It is well. It is dated. It, it looks like nineteen sixties and stuff. It's sixties, but it actually went to the early seventies. It, it it doesn't translate to no. Now. Just, now, do you remember the laugh in that came out in the eighties? Yes. For about a dozen episodes. I, I remember watching it and going like, no. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, I think the only. I think Robin Williams was in it, and that was the only. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Robin was there. There might have been two other people, but yeah. Robin Williams was the one was that the star. Yeah. Break out. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It it yeah. doesn't age well. Nope. 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 It did. It, it did. It's, uh, it's nice to keep it back back then when you're a little kid. You know. Mhm. Mm I I tried to watch laughing. I just it's it's hard. It's like mm -hmm. I don't want to watch this. It's not, yeah. Not, <laughs> yeah. Whatever. What that? Oh, going on eleven o'clock. Been doing this silly thing for about three hours now. You got a big. You got a this, big. Uh, this killed Thursday night. Yeah. Well, you know, all the older people are busy, and all the younger people are watching somebody else. Yeah, and it doesn't matter now because I'm going to bed. Okay, I'll probably like, get a bit shortly. Like, like the old person that I am. Yes. Yeah. Well, have a good night, Doc. Yes, thank you. So, all okay. you people who have, might have been here for the uh, whole three hours of this mess, thank you for spending a Thursday right. evening with us. And I'll say what they said back then. And I even thank Mason and his phone yeah. for show. Sure. And he's gone. Say good night, Doc. Good night, Doc. <laughs> Good night, Doc. Okay. Bye. Bye.